All right, welcome back to my uh, pickups video. This is part two uh, of my pickups video. Um, I got a lot of stuff here, so I'm gonna just keep on, you know, showing what I got. And I think I'm gonna do a third part. The third part because I got some stuff, some packages, and uh, some boxes. So I'm kind of just gonna open the boxes and show you, and uh, some packages that I'm gonna save for the last part. But um, these are. Some, I got some pretty good stuff here, so since I got a lot of stuff here, let's uh, let's just keep on keep on going. Uh, I got uh, I picked up this uh, for the PSP Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which is a very good game. I think I paid about five dollars for that. It's complete, you know. I figure always a good game, Metal Gear game, especially since uh, Kojima is not going to be. Uh, with Konami no more, it looks like doing the Metal Gear series, so probably a good idea to keep get a hold of all these Metal Gear games while you can. But uh, keep moving on here. Here's uh, Inuyasha for the PS2. Uh, I think I paid like $2.99 for it, but this is a uh, complete two, I believe, and the disc was pretty clean on it. Yeah, so pretty, pretty good game. Uh, Another game I paid $2.99 for that was complete is uh, The Reckoning, Hunter The Reckoning, it was, uh, I say $2.99, $2.99, yeah, so that, again, I show you, that's complete too, so that's actually pretty cool, you know, uh, Ico, paid 10 bucks for it, I like Ico, this is a classic game too. So that's just the receipt, that's not a big deal, but there it is, that's complete too with the manual. Figure, very good game to buy. Um, another good game, Full Metal Alchemist for the PS2. This one uh, didn't have, it's just the receipt. It didn't have the manual, but I think I only paid, actually I did only pay $1.99 for it. So I figured why not for $1.99. Here is Full Metal Alchemist 2. That one also was $1.99. And this is a two disc and that one is complete. So that's actually pretty nice. There's both this and it's very clean too. So $1.99. Got both of the Full Metal Alchemist. Can't beat that. Uh, here is another Silent Hill 2. I cop uh, a few of those. I think this is my second one, my Silent Hill 2. This one was about 99 and it's complete. And this is pretty clean too, I'm pretty sure it is. It's yeah, very, very clean. So that was a good deal for two dollars. Can't beat that. Uh, let's keep moving on here. Here's um, Ico. And the Shadow of the Colossus the set on uh, the PS3, you know, the combined set. Uh, I paid ten dollars for that, but it was it was worth it to me. I want I wanted it on this, so I mean, you know, that's that's still not a bad price for that. So not at all. Uh, Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. That one was actually pretty cool too. Um, you know, this there. I think I paid 10 bucks for that too, so that wasn't bad either. Um, next one, Harvest Moon for the PS4, paid $4 for it. That's just another receipt. Throw those receipts down there, but anyway, that's complete too with the manual and the instructions. Manual. The game was pretty clean too, so not bad, not bad at all. Uh, Let's see here. Let's just let's just keep on going. Uh, I always wanted this GTA 4, the complete series, all three tri trilogies on that. It was like five bucks. So it that's just a receipt. It was complete too with the map and the manual and the disc. So I figured, you know, for five dollars, why not, man? I you know I already got the series, you know, and the collector set, box set form and everything. But for that price, I figured now I got all three of them there. Bioshock 2. For the PS3, another receipt. That's complete. I think I paid $3.99. I 
We're not even on for that. So that was actually kind of cool, too. You know, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Um, keep moving here. Here's uh, Bioshock. One, that's the greatest hits for four ninety nine. I said maybe eventually another will see it. Uh, it's complete. I said maybe. I, I don't think I, I play. I never played these, but uh, I tried to play the first one. I think a while ago. I'm not into those scary type of games, but I think it's all right. I'm gonna be back a little bit. So moving on. Uh, Epic Mickey two for the Wii. Uh, what if they five dollars for that? I think this is just a disc only. But I got the uh, Epic Mickey one in the brush. I figured this would be a good one to have in my collection. And also uh, Night's uh, Journey of Dreams. Night's Journey of Dreams uh, for the Wii also. Now this one is complete. I always like Night's for the Sega Saturn. So I figured that's a good one to add to the collection too. Uh, and I'm saving the best for last, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to close with this one. Uh, not with this, but I mean with the last bomb. And then I'm going to do my part three as well. I'm going to show the other packages I got in the mail. But moving on, I'm going to show these two. Well, maybe i show this first. Just a, a Namco Greatest Hits. You know, uh, I don't know. I might have got this at a Goodwill for about a couple dollars. I don't see no price on it. But it was clean, and this was clean. So I figured, why not? Now, here is uh I got two Street Fighters for the DS you know and the reason why I got two is because one I just bought the case thinking that I'll buy the, the game to um to um basically um throw it in there but then this was an eBay auction so I ended up winning the game pretty cheap and it was complete so that's why I got two cases so but it's a good game, you know, so, and as a matter of fact, since I'm showing y'all that, I might as well show you this too. This is my uh, Mario uh, 3D, 3DS XL, you know, I could have did it on box, let me just open it right now. So that way, I'll do this and then we'll finish up. The last one with the other one. So now, can I even open this thing? I already had it open. Okay, I'm doing it the wrong way. That's why. So, here. Here we go. So, it's, um, uh, it got all of the paperwork in it. Yeah, see, there's nothing in there. But, I'm going to put that right there. Got all of the, all of the paperwork. I don't know what these little codes are. You probably can't use them no more anyway. Quick, all the quick star guys in all three different languages or whatever. Here is the um, Excel manual. Um, and here is the actual 3DS game. So, and it's actually pretty nice. I've been playing uh, Contra on it. Contra been whooping my behind, but it's been very, very fun. Uh, and I like this, man. I didn't usually didn't like these handhelds. I'm getting into them now. But uh, this was a good one to have, so I figured why not. Okay, I'll sit, I'll sit that right there. And I'll, put it, I'll put all this back in the box on the next one. But continuing on, because I'm saving the best for last. Let's take this receipt out of here. But uh, here I can do this. Uh, uh, GTA 5 Strategy Guide, which is acting pretty thick. I know I done beat this game a couple times, but you can't beat having a GTA 5 Strategy Guide to show you where everything is, man. You know, let's show that shot of trouble. Don't you just love this game, man? It's one of the best games ever, man. It is. I love it. I love it. You know, but anyway, I only paid a couple dollars for this. So I said, why not? I'll get it. I said, I'll get it. And here's another good book I got. Capcom 30th anniversary, you know, and I got this at uh, what is this, uh, half right books for like eight dollars, seven ninety nine, eight dollars, and uh, can't beat that either, man. I mean, it was, I don't know if it's new or used, but it looked pretty new. Got some pretty good pictures in there, man. Of some of the, a lot of the different characters, you know. So I haven't got a chance to really check it out just yet. But uh, a lot of rival school characters, you know, pretty nice, man. 
know what I'm saying? So I like this. Here, I'll hold up a little bit more. So if you can go to uh, Half Price Books and get it, I highly recommend it because you can see that's a pretty good Capcom book, man. So I got that for like $7. Now, lastly, this is the one I want to show you. Now, this I got at a comic book store. So, and it's just a disc, but it's um, Shimu 2, the PAL edition. So it's all for this. That's this one. That's this. Can't even read. Can't even see. That's this two. This is this three. This three. And this four. So the PAL edition. Very nice. I was very happy to get this. This thing goes for a lot of money. I ended up getting it for, uh, they were selling it for $30. And I asked the guy, can you give me a better price? And he gave it to me for $20. So, of course, you know, this game, you know, just new, going for about $200. And it's the PAL version of Shimu 2. And, you know, Shimu is, like, ridiculously hot now. So I was really happy to get this. So I say that for last so y'all can see that. But now I'm going to do a little more unboxing because I still got some a lot of good stuff here. And I'll say that one for part three. So stay tuned for that. But I hope y'all enjoyed these because there's a lot of good pieces I got here as you can see. And I'm more than happy to show you the last ones I got. So just stay tuned for part three.